<clears throat> All right, welcome back. Hopefully, the last episode of Slaris, and let's start with Jungle Championship. Oh yeah, uh, Dashi sister is actually the Dashi LAPD. Uh, this is a joke in our community. Basically, a guy named Adam of ours puts like a bunch of LB X's, I think. Yeah, a bunch of LBXs on a mech, and he's always like, Get on the ground! Canned really likes the fucking loadout and was like, playing this game apparently, because I was playing it, and was going fucking crazy over the fact he could make an LAPD mech in this. And, uh, yeah, so I gave this guy more speed at the cost of, um, no backup weapons after these LBXs go away. But you know what? Judging by how this is, these have been going, don't think that's necessary. Uh, I'm probably also going to use the Atlas at some point. Uh, that has enough. Uh, armor as well. So that should be fine. Let's go. It's Jungle Mania in Cathay. This is Duncan Fisher in the Jungle Arena for the last match of the Jungle Circuit. Today, people are competing for who is the arena champion, and the competition looks fierce. As expected, most pilots have come in their best assault or heavy, and they have spent a mother load on the best weapons sea bills can buy. We have, heck, we have so many key players here, I don't know where to start. It's anyone's game, and it's time to watch the action. Watch it right here. Not only is this an arena championship match, but it is the first of the season. A lot of times, the first championship is a good weather vane for who the big players are going to be in the grand championship. A good showing here can give a pilot that extra psychological edge needed to go the distance. It's going to be one heck of a game. So it was a grand championship, apparently. Now you can kind of understand game why I never finished uh, Solaris. Holy shit, there's a lot of mechs here. All right. I may not have brought enough ammo. Let's just hope it doesn't get down to fucking... Enemy detected. Oh, there's a raven here? That poor guy. You know that feeling when someone comes vastly under-equipped? Oh, an Uzeal, huh? Dude, I just want to one-shot this guy. The field is filled with big names that have big talent. One of the new faces is Spectre, who's oh. managed to secure a spot in this championship, even though it is his rookie year. He's become something of an item, and many people hope that this underdog can take the prize tonight. But there is some fierce competition out there. There is so much to keep track of in one of these games. You have 16 opponents, any of whom in a normal game would be the star. Championship play is frenetic, and boy, do I love it. Watching the best duke it out is a real treat, and every one of them is giving it their all to move up the ladder, and that's one down! He stood his ground and fired up until the last. Now that's the Solaris way of playing it. He's out of the round, but earned some style points in doing it. I think we may be seeing more of him later. As you can see, I'm even knocking down assault mechs with this Target fucking loadout. Destroyed. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, this is close range. So I just want to, I, I just want to finish my thoughts on uh, the mech warrior games and stuff like that. Like I was, I was saying some, I guess, kind of controversial stuff that not everybody will like. The thing is, though, you think of a game like this, like it's mech warrior four mercs. Like, can you imagine playing a game like this with, like, your friends, like, like in co-op, doing missions and shit like that? Or maybe, like, some kind of game where it's, like... The field is clearing up a bit, and it has been a great championship so far. I'm sure that some are surprised to see Spectre still up and running. At this point, you'd think people would recognize that this rookie is the real thing. He's not just lucky down there, he is making it happen. He's also a bit of a bookie's nightmare. Anybody that put a mark on him for making championship has made enough money by now to change lifestyles. I wonder if he can go the distance. Uh, like, like just imagine like co-op, like in, against the campaign or like some other stuff. But the thing is, it gets like imagine like maybe like a campaign mode where it's like, like I know light mechs don't have much of a purpose Two though. Kills for Spectre. Uh. I, I think I shot him, but it's whatever. Like, you can have a mode where it's like, you know, maybe like two t two versus uh, two teams versus, uh, sorry, one team versus one team. And then one team on gets, uh... That's three chalk marks for Spectre. One team gets, like, the assault mechs, and then the other team gets, like, uh, like lights, but they get, like, infinite, like, well, not infinite, but, like, a certain amount of reinforcements for light mechs, so you get, like, a lot of light mech action. Like, there's a lot of things you could do with this. Uh, and then just nobody does anything with it, so it's kind of sad. All right, well, fuck this guy. Uh, oh, he has he has the gyros because he didn't get knocked. He can didn't get his ass knocked down. All right, well there goes both his torsos. Took out none of his weapons. 
Target destroyed. Alright, that's it for that. You know, at this point I'd be kind of scared about myself. I knocked down a dot. Is that that's a Dashi, right? Isn't it? Yeah, I just knocked down another Dashi. Wow, and that's it. That's it. LAPD. We swept the jungle. We have a new champion of the jungle arena. He's not some fancy seasoned veteran with big company sponsors. He's come from out of nowhere, and he is on a roll. And in case you're living under a rock, his name is Spectre. An absolutely phenomenal performance. I can't wait to see how this rookie does in Grand Championship. This is one announcer who is dying to see what comes next. Duncan Fisher from the Jungle, signing off. Alright. I mean, the saddest thing is, like, this game does support two lances. And so you'd think that, you know, you'd have your buddy with you having his own lance, but, like, no. Oh, uh, yeah, it's apparently just one mission one mission in the championship, so... Dude, I'm gonna use the Dashi LAPD again. That was actually fun. And it is finally time! This is Duncan Fisher bringing you the last game of the factory season. This is it! Tonight we find out who is the king of the rubble heap. It is an all-star lineup as the best of the best duke it out for total factory domination. We have Srin Odessa, who placed extremely well last year and is one of the favorites for the Grand Championship. We've got Marcus Wilder, who unleashed a brutal campaign of terror in the assault class this season. And there are plenty more where they came from. This is one game you don't want to miss. Showtime! I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason I do this is hopefully so they target somebody else. Enemy detected. I, I fucking hate this guy. I have bigger fish to fry this match. Want an ally for the match? Uh, I guess, I guess so. Dude, this guy- Sven Odessa has been a name to watch in Solaris for years. She placed 10th in the 62 match, and she's been gaining ground ever- There's the ejection pod. One less combatant on the field. That salvo had his name on it. Actually, I don't know what happens in this I'm game. I'm always get amazed light. in these open class championship games at what mech pilots bring in. And a lot of times, I'm even more amazed at how well they do. Last year, someone brought in a medium mech and lasted until the final three. Not only is that extraordinary skill, but also major style points in my book. Most of the time, the big boys win this one, your assault and heavy mechs. But hats off to the lighter mechs out there. Funny, he's even admitting, like, it's like. There's no point in having anything but an assault mech, which is another battle tech uh, complaint, I guess. Assault mechs don't serve a purpose, really, but uh, sorry, um, light and mediums don't serve a purpose. I mean, in lore, it's basically like most houses can't afford Welcome anything on mediums. Now, let me show you the sky. That's two for Spectre and two ejected pilots who will be watching from the sidelines. I probably don't need this much ammo. Target destroyed. This guy's not my friend. The action down there is target destroyed. Why do I even have these ear lasers? Just in case. Might make a really clutch kill, you never know. I don't want to be out in the open for too long. I have no heat sinks on this thing, by the way. What's even the point? Did I knock this guy down? It looks like I did. Target destroyed. And he just got wrecked. Alright, whoever this is, I'm just gonna take him down. By the way, nobody ever dies in Slaris, they always eject. And there goes Shrin. It took a bunch of them to drag her down. Bam, bam, bam. Spectre makes it look easy. Now let's see if he can go the distance. Yeah, dude, this is like the this is like the winning strategy right here. This fucking LBX is. <laughs> Bam! That is it. The last game of the factory season is over. And who won? Not any of the old favorites. A dark horse named Spectre. In an unbelievable season, he has won in every category in the factory and is now king of the rubble pile. There is still some more left of the season, and just like you, Solaris fans, I'm on the edge of my seat to see just how far this Merc rookie turn champion will go. This is Duncan Fisher, live from the factory, signing off. All right, and that meant the LAPD is still good, so fuck it. I'm gonna bring it to the this one too. I like that one actually. It's actually a lot of fun. Fuck the Atlas. 
The last game for the year in the Coliseum. This is Duncan Fisher, and Silesia is going crazy in anticipation. The Steiner fans aren't too happy because local favorite Ellie Meals lost her last five matches and won't get to compete in any of the championships. A real upset. But there is a ton of hopefuls and some real powerhouses left. One dark horse that a lot of people are betting on is rookie favorite Spectre. He slugged his way through each class of competition in this arena. He's earned a crack at the arena title. Way to go, Spectre! Alright, this is a clusterfuck. Because there's no cover here. Action. I have to shut down. Radar off. Passive sensors engaged. Alright, you shot at me, you dive first, Dashi. You are not as good as the Dashi sister. This guy has... This is the big league, rookie. I'll watch your back this round if you watch mine. If we're the only ones left, then we can settle who's better. Deal? Another ally for me. Let's finish this dash you up. Sometimes a kill sneaks up on you, like that one. Pinpoint firing can lead to a fast kill. This guy has arrows. Arena championship matches are the real proving ground for the big event, the grand championship. Some of your real big names on the field have their attention. One more mech destroyed. destroyed. Like, this guy's in, like, the crappiest mech in the world. He's like, you want to ally with me? I have thick accent. And he's, like, German. Like Alright, this guy has ultra ACs. I like this guy's lit up. But I think, L I think the LAPD is better. I'm sorry. Let's see what happens when you like someone. That's the second one for Spectre today. Apparently you die. I'm not sure how he died from that one leg, but okay. Thought you just go really slow. Active radar engaged. Enemy we, detected. So this guy's a black knight. By the way, um, absolutely no ra I, I can't shoot anything beyond uh, 300 meters, but that has never mattered. This is the last chap. Target destroyed. This is the last chap. destroyed. Oh good. Everything's just melting. Go ahead, Brosen. Interesting arena. Oh, it's it's good old Robert, and he's got his fucking LBXs. Oh wait, no, there's a cauldron born. That's an interesting mech. Target and that's dead. Alright, that was interesting enough. ER lasers, bitch. Yeah. You like them ER lasers. Some fancy piloting, good aim, and three kills for Spectre. Now that is one Merc I'd let watch my back any day. Can I say something to me? I'm impressed you've made it this far. We'll see who's left standing. <laughs> Merc <laughs> Phenom strikes again. We'll see who's left standing. That's it. Spectre is now the champion of the Coliseum. From out of nowhere. I haven't seen a performance like this since Gross took the Grand Championship in 62. The sands are choked with debris, and only the best man is left standing. And today, that man is Spectre. The Grand Championship still remains to be played, and I know many of us are wondering whether or not Spectre is prepared to deliver one of the best rookie performances in Solaris history. Until next time, this is Duncan Fisher, live from the Coliseum, signing off. Alrighty. Oh, look, Steiner really likes me. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. Grand Championship. Okay. The winner of this walks away the Grand Champion of Solaris. Uh, I, be, I will become an interstellar celebrity and get my own seat at the exclusive Valhalla Club. All you have to do is defeat the best. Fuck it. LAPD. All my faith is in the LAPD. The big game. Each game of the season, every single pilot who walks onto the field is aspiring for just one thing. Being right here, in this arena, tonight. This is Duncan Fisher, bringing you the Grand Championship. This is the match of the season. And tonight's match looks like it's going to be one that'll be talked about for years to come. We have old favorites, Srin Odessa and Samantha Coleman. We have new stars, Spectre and Nako Tayuma. We have watched them slug through everything that has stood in their way, and now they have one chance for glory. So now, here comes Solaris at its absolute best.
I have never beat Solaris before, so this will be a first for the me. The game is on. Why is Rob? Why is this guy always here? He lost every single one. Why do I have to win them and he doesn't? What a bitch. Thank fuck I Enemy shut down at the beginning. Like, imagine if these guys just alpha'd me at the very beginning. You know? When the reactor goes, that's usually a sign that you've taken too much damage. The fuck you just do, Robert? No, 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 no. Look at me. Look at look at me when I talk to you, Robert. And actually, this guy this guy pissed me off right here. Fen Cheng. Oh, he's got his vulture. Oh, you aren't you a special snowflake? Come come over here. Man, okay. that kid was on fire. He went the distance longer than any of us could expect. Of course, now he is literally on fire. But hey, that's the nature of the game. Target destroyed. That's another one. That's someone brought their shadow cat too. Look at that, you know. Uh, let's go get this awesome. He thinks he's awesome. I will prove him wrong. This is it. The last chance for the year for these guys to strut their stuff. Looking out there is like a who's who of Solaris jocks. A few surprises, some veterans, and even a couple of new faces. And every one of them has been practicing all gear for one night. For one night of mech madness. This is what it's all about. This guy has two heavy glasses. What kind of mech is that? This one looks really cool. Target destroyed. Well, it's dead now, so I guess... You know, what, what did we learn, guys, today? You don't fuck with the LAPD. When you see the LAPD, you get on the ground. You put your hands up and let him LBX, uh, LB10X you. Alright. And I just shot this asshole in the back. He took a lot of damage in some random ass places, but yeah. <laughs> He's a really retarded mech though. I think he lost one of his PPCs. Yes, he did. Hello. Good shot. And there we go. How about you? Oh, it's, it's, it's Odessa. Oh, guess what? You died too. I, I keep recognizing these people. That's some good fighting. Let's see how the final three finish it off. I think this one's in the bag. But these guys are all shooting at me. Kapow! Boy, I'm put, do we have a game? I'm gonna put We're myself in the way. Right here, and we've already knocked out some of the crowd's favorites. Srin Odessa is still in the running, and it looks like her mysterious target destroyed. All right, you're gone. Now we got this the ultra AC guy. Warning, damage critical. That's not good. Weapon destroyed. Target destroyed. We have our winner. He almost got the LAPD, but not quite. I don't believe it. Samantha Coleman has been put down. Srin Odessa is no more. We have a new champion, and his name is Spectre. What an upset. He started as a rookie pilot in the biggest show in the Inner Sphere, and he walks away the champion of Solaris. You gotta think the line will be long to join his Merc company. The city is going to be a madhouse tonight. Truly one of the greatest upsets of all time. The name Spectre may join the ranks of the giants of Solaris. People like Kai Allard-Leo, Oliver Twohorse, and Gray Norton. He has truly left his mark. A Merc from out of nowhere has won the biggest match of the year. And you were here, Solaris fans. This is Duncan Fisher, live from Solaris. Join us back shortly when we interview Spectre himself and some of the other combatants on this truly spectacular day of Solaris action. Guys, we won Solaris. We have 75, we have 70 million sea bills. We have 70 million fucking sea bills. All right, let's just repair this guy. All right, so do I, I should have at least like some sort of reputation now. Actually, I don't know how much, like, Steiner likes me now. They should like me a lot more. Yeah, somewhat. Lars ranking, Grand Champion. Alright, let's see what Herbal Review says. Okay, so if I wanted to... I see, so... You don't have to do every single one to, to get to the Grand Championship, but at this point, there's, like, no point in doing it anymore, so... I mean, if we get bored, we can, or if we lose money, we can. That's I think that's the point, is if you want more money, you can do, you can do it, but... Alright, so... Uh, we got some shit here. So convoy escort for Steiner. We've done all that. We've done all that. We've done all that. We've done all that. So we can do a convoy escort into a convoy capture. I don't think we're going to do a convoy capture somehow. Jungle recon. 
We're gonna bring a bunch of fucking assault mechs for this kind of crap. Uh, let's go do this one then. Let's go over here. How much time do I got left? We have enough time, I think, for one more mission. Uh, maintain a speed of at least 70 kilometers to keep pace with the convoy. So I, I will have to actually bring some mechs that are faster than assaults. The convoy is traveling along a treacherous stretch of highway leading away from Defiance Industries. The tight quarters will reduce the effectiveness of deploying both lances. I suggest you plan for a single lance and try to keep your speeds in the 70 to 80 kilometer per hour range. Alright, we are going to make some... Because this is like, the Bushwhacker is a good, uh, good mech for that. You see, like 70 to 80. It pretty much removes the possibility of assaults. So, you see this one even, I, I have to give it more speed in order to bring it along. So yeah, I'm gonna fuck around with this for a bit, I'll be back. Alright guys, I made a, well, we have the Black Knight here. I didn't change it much, it's fine. Uh, Catapult, made a Splat Cat. I'm gonna also change its skin to, I don't know, orange, fine. Uh, so we got a catapult, and then I made my vulture, which has the two gosses and some ERA lasers. Honestly, I was going for mostly about 80 kilometers for everybody, and then the catapult is back in its default configuration. I think I'll give it to one of the lance mates and see how hilariously bad they do with it. Uh, so let's get going. So I'm with the vulture. Megs can have the catapult. Claymore can take the Black Knight, and Bullseye can have uh, whatever's left. I guess the Splat Cat. I mean, the guy with the most accuracy is definitely gonna take the thing with the least amount of accuracy required. There we go. That should that should be good. Approaching Security Force Rendezvous, two kilometers. Copy that. Thanks for the escort, Spectre. Well, we ain't there yet. Let's get clear before we go spending our vouchers. Pleasure traveling with any Grey Death Legionnaires. We wouldn't be here without you folks. Sorry we weren't here when the Legion got hit full on. We lost some good people. Aye, Commander, we all did. It's good to have the Legion with us again. This is a really fast fucking convoy. They said at least 70 and I was, I was shooting for 80. Close up and form on me. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Spectre. I have no recollection of how to do standard missions. Well, we're keeping up with them at least. Alright, let's see. We just have to escort them. So this is their way of... the devil. Cold start. 800 meters dead ahead. Got him. Look sharp, Spectre Lance. Roger. 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 So this is kind of, detected. this is their way of, uh... Close up and form on me. Roger. Copy. Roger. Take out the designated <laughs> target. Roger, lead. Roger. Roger, Spectre. This is their way of making it actually useful for you to fucking, uh, use... Look, this guy's, like, fucking jump jetting. Oh, by the way, I have, like, uh, I have the plasma screen inside of this thing again. Target destroyed! Target's destroyed. Target eliminated. Close up and form on me. Roger, Spectre. Roger. Roger, Six. Alright, it looks like the AI is retarded. I should have gave them more uh, long-range weapons, actually. Because we need speed. Alpha reached. Spectre 1, be advised. I show two more mechs moving up from your rear. They're behind us! Affirmative. Okay, people, keep this convoy rolling. We gotta clear these navs in a hurry. Spectre taking point. Convoy at Alpha. Getting a little crowded around. Attack your closest target. Roger, lead. Roger, copy. I thought they were behind us. I, I kind of wish I had a... Not ECM. Maybe BAP or something. The one that increased my sense of range. Because I can't see shit. And it looks like uh, none of my lance mates can, can help with that either. I don't even need to go that fast. Convoy at bridge. Holding for escort. Okay, there was contact. Two mechs behind us. Where are they? Nobody knows. Close up and form on me. Roger, lead. Copy. Roger, lead. They said they're holding Enemy for escort. Detected. Oh, there they are. Roger that. Copy. Roger. 
Is that the only one? Enemy detected. Hopefully they they're not fucking off. I'll just hit this guy in the back a little bit. There you go. That that's the one with the large lasers and a bunch of machine guns. I just would hope he would look at me. That's okay, we'll just look at his back in HD. That's the meme of this mech. Target destroyed. Target's destroyed. Target destroyed. Roger that. Megs, Roger. what are you doing? Roger Spectre. He's a stranger mech. You're not supposed to go near him. You don't know you don't know what kind of weapons he's carrying. Oh, he's got Dinotos apparently has jump jets. You know, I wanted a mech with nice jump jets, but you know. What, what am I supposed to do? Is this a Davion? Yeah, he's got the Davion markings on him. Look at that. They think they're people. Target destroyed! Target destroyed! Target eliminated! Roger and lead. Roger. Roger. So nice that we brought these fast mechs. Just because, well, these aren't actually fast, but, like, they're dumb and they're just hanging out here waiting for me. Alright, he says we're gonna cross a bridge. Oh, that bridge. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll go right over then. I, I, I'm i gonna guess that's gonna get destroyed. Because there seems Blue to be another bridge. path. Yep. May have to head back. Negative, we'll take the long way around. Castle, plot us a new route. Pronto. Already working on it, sir. There, uploading detour nav point zeta. Continue on to beta, and you're back on course. Good work, Castle. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I, I kind of, I, dude, that was a dead giveaway, because that was like, they weren't even facing there, and there was like another perfectly good valley path over here, and it did not look like to me that they were going to fucking Take out the designated go. target. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Six. Roger. You better not be shooting, you shot LRMs at me. Target destroyed. Makes you mad. Target destroyed. Target eliminated. Roger, lead. Roger, six. Roger. This is a pretty nice mech, actually. You know, I said that the AI never jump jets. What are they doing? They're jump jetting. But it looks like uh, All bandits at Zeta. A jumper in some light armor. We need cover. Roger. Moving to engage. Roger, Spectre. Copy. Roger, lead. How dare you. Deeply offended. And it seems like, you know, it looks like my frames are dropping, but they're really not. Alright. Alright, I don't know what the fuck my other guys are doing. Uh, this isn't good. I have to show myself, because if I don't... I don't know what the fuck all my lance guys are doing. Roger, six. Copy. Thank god I brought lasers. This is why you bring lasers for the vehicles. Alright, you're making me upset. I mean, we could have brought thunderbolts or something, but whatever. I, li I like gosses too. I, 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 oh, he got, he got hit in the cockpit there. Bandits at Zeta are clear. Apparently, my allies are not going to help me out copy. here. Roger, copy. Right, we're taking a long, long route around. It looks like. I, I like. I, I always love this HG fucking thing. One ton for this, guys. One ton for slightly more resolution. I wish I had jump jets. I really need to prioritize the mechs with jump jets. I could have taken a catapult, but whatever. I want something a little bit heavier. You always want something in the upper kind of like higher tier of mech classes, you know. Demolishers, be on guard, all of you. <laughs> Thanks, Connery. Roger. Roger, lead. Roger, lead. Be on guard, all of you. All right, let's let him go. All right, I shut down by accident. It was bad manner shut down. He's beaming the demolishers. Right, I'm just gonna goss that one. Because they take a little. They, they're actually like really heavily equipped uh, vehicles. Target destroyed. 
Close up and form on me. Roger, lead. Roger, Spectre. Roger, lead. Convoy's doing okay. I mean, can uh, well, they can come behind us as we know, so. Protect my target. Roger, Spectre. Roger, lead. Roger, Spectre. Now, how much are they going to fuck up this protect my target business? Uh, apparently not that much. Uh, this is like the least intense mission I've ever done. It's not because I'm, I'm over-equipped, it's more like, I don't know, kind of a trash mission. I don't know when we were supposed to do it. I do like the fact that occasionally we get to, yeah, there's your bridge. In HD. Destroyed. Alright. Let's look at that. I, I have a feeling that they're fucking with the, the other guy. Let me go up here and see how they're doing. God, you know what's even worse than an escort mission? An escort mission. This game has it all. Look at this shit. Yeah. Roger. Come on. Roger. Here. Roger. I think they're having issues navigating. I mean, it's AI. What do you expect? I show multiple contacts coming in off that lake. Watch yourself. Copy that. Moving to engage enemies at beta. These guys sure do want that convoy. Must be running low on expendables. Nav point beta reached. So why do I? Why do I want the Target convoy? Destroyed. I don't even know why. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Spectre. Roger, lead. You get some of these little guys. Target destroyed. They missiled. Half point beta reached. Oh, there's another bushwhacker. Alright. Let's get this one then. This is why I brought the heavier one for myself. Because I wasn't I wasn't prepared to deal with this. We need if we had like uh targets destroyed. Target eliminated. Roger. Roger. Roger six. We need if it forces us to face like face like assault mech, maybe. And maybe this would get interesting. For the moment it's really not. It's just like, oh, it's bushwhackers. And now it looks like we're almost a gamma anyways. I mean we got like three of our guys pummeling him down there, so. Where is this target destroyed. target destroyed! Target destroyed! Target destroyed! Roger lead. Roger lead. Copy. Roger that. Roger six. Roger Spectre. This is gonna get him to destroy that guy. Like destroy all enemy is threatening convoy. This is the last one. And what, what's in the other area? I don't even know. I can't. I, I don't have cycle through friendlies. Binded as you saw earlier in the LP. I don't really care. But I do care now, because now I see some blue blips there, I'm like, oh, what are they? Fuck this guy, honestly, and... This is like the worst harasser I've ever seen. It's harassing me. You stuck here, buddy? Target destroyed. Target's destroyed. Target eliminated. Alright. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Six. Easiest convoy escort ever. I mean, what are these things carrying? I'm pretty sure the, the mission brief told me, but I didn't care. Let's just say it's, um, let's say it's dragon dildos. That's what it is. It's, it's we need it. Steiner needs it, man. Fucking fighting, finding clients or Davian or whatever. It's hard work. You know. Convoy at Gamma. Looks like we made it, Spectre. Thanks again. You're welcome, Convoy. The Spaceport Security Force will see you in the rest of the way. Industries is very pleased with our mission performance, sir. We have early reports that units loyal to Victor are moving on planet and are likely mounting guerrilla strikes against Defiance Holdings. Soon, I expect we'll find ourselves locked in with one side or the other in this war. We already are. We're with Steiner. Oh, well, we got more to do here. Anyways, that's, uh, that's all the time we got for today, guys. Uh, see you later. Bye.